Okay, so uh, good afternoon. Ben back again with another video. This time it's going to be about my seat. Thanks to these videos that I'm being super proactive about uh, fixing little niggles on the bike and uh, having it in top notch shape and condition so that uh, every single ride is a blessing and not a curse. So 25,000 kilometers later, what you see me with here is my um, seat, my the rider's seat, not the pillion. The pillion is fantastic. There's uh, not a single good uh, pillion seat in the market. Um, and uh, I, I really don't know how these guys came up with such a wonderful seat for uh, the Himalayan. And my pillion has never had any complaints. But this, this is starting to bother me. Well, I'm 68 kilos and um, I'm definitely not on the heavier side. <laughs> so uh, this was never a problem. I could sit on it comfortably and I could find my spot to rest. And yes, of course, when I would do a little bit of an off-roading session sections, I would just slide a little forward. I would sit somewhere here. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, times when you don't stand, times when you don't stand, I would be putting my weight right about here. And then when on the highway, when I'm cruising comfortably, I would just go a little back. And then I think my weight would be resting here, not here. I'm about five, ten and a half. I'm 179 centimeters. And uh, right here is good for me. Um, so that being said, now what uh, has started happening over the last couple of um, rides I've started noticing is that this particular portion where I sit is starting to sink in. This is no more as uh, sturdy as it used to be straight out of the factory. Just this portion right about here, I'm starting to sink and uh, uh, the little tiny bumps on off road, uh, you know, very uh, subtle uh, bumps that uh, you get on off-road terrain, you get to feel here. I mean, I'm starting to feel it in my in my groin and uh, this is definitely not a good idea. And uh, of course, this is also starting to crush my trouser and it's starting to collect here is because, um, I, I mean, this is not exactly the right position for you to be riding if you're not riding hard, that is, if you're not in the attacking position. I mean, of course, you're supposed to stand when you're in the attacking position, but then again, you can also do it sitting and uh, so yes, this is going to be me trying to figure out how to add a small bit of hard cushion somewhere around here. Uh, what I intend on doing is I'll get rid of the seat cover. Uh, pretty easy. You'll have to just uh, remove these. If you can see, you'll have to just remove these uh, pins. They're staples. So I will have to remove them one by one. They're all rusted. Pretty bad. Uh, Again, this will save the day for us. I am not going to be using WD-40s because uh, it's unnecessary. It's a little too expensive to be, uh, you know, squirting WD-40s all the time on everything. So, yeah, this is a little less expensive an option. And so the Vista, what is it, Rust Clean is going to be uh, taking care of the rusting business. And then once I, th I think I can pull them out, I will pull them out with my screwdriver and we'll get rid of the cover. Yep, so the first step in the process is to do this. There you go. So that's gotten rid of the mounting plate. Some WD, I mean, uh, some rust clean here as well. Yeah, so if you guys can see, I have managed to pull out one side of these pins with this tester. And I mean, you all you need is just a little tiny sharp flat um, 
end flat blade screwdriver and then I mean it, it shouldn't be too wide here so that you know you can dig deep in and then just just like this you can shove it in and then just pull one side out why one side out I'll get to that in a minute because the rest of it is going to be taken care of my uh, care of by my multi-purpose tool and with this I will pull the rest of it out and it's an easy job it's 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 as simple as that there you go so all you need to now do is just pull these pins individually be gentle and slow with this whole process and you just don't want to uh, damage your stock seat cover that's the most important thing that's the idea behind uh, going uh, a little too soft with this whole process and so yeah that's the tool that you require to pull the uh, pins out and then uh, a nose plier or a cutting plier to pull the rest of the pins out any which ways once i'm done with the whole of it once i have the seat cover removed i'll get back here we are the cover separated from the seat and man oh man look at that beauty it's super silky buttery looks like cheese <laughs> so the reason why i don't choose to use uh, gel gel pads that come uh, on many of uh, the imported motorcycles is because it it uh, it's it's a lot more uh, stickier than one might think uh, so and it also uh, just doesn't dissipate heat this is a porous material any heat that is applied on it uh, tends to uh, get absorbed by the foam as well but with the gel it just lets the heat stay right there so it's not a very healthy thing to ride long distances with uh, gel seats but it's always best to use foam and especially the thinner the memory foam towards the top the better it is going to be one thing with uh, cost cutting is you don't have multiple layer uh, seats uh, you just have one big chunk of foam which is shaped nicely and uh, on top of it you have the seat cover uh, so what we are going to be doing now is we are going to be inserting a nice hard foam here somewhere around here so that this doesn't get crushed in this can still take my weight and put back the cover and that's about it that's the whole process so so that's the shop if you can see new star and that is where i have given the seat to be reworked and uh, yep okay so that's the seat height the new seat height if i might say and the only difference that you can see here now is if you can see this particular portion comes out earlier it used to taper in right earlier it used to you know blend in with the tank the motorcycle tank now it stands out so that is another area where he's worked he's worked on this area to make it a lot more stiff i want them to work here so he's kind of gone in from there from the top he's added uh, a new layer from the top he didn't uh, <coughs> blend this in if i might say i mean i don't have a problem this a little bit sticking out is also going to go down with time but then that's okay and uh, like you can see here this particular portion is raised by one centimeters and uh, one centimeter and uh, i'll just mount on the bike and show to you what i mean okay so if you guys can see i can still flat foot no problems earlier there used to be a slight bend at my knee which is not the case now i can uh, i almost have my leg straight and this is where this is right where i had a problem so uh, that whole area feels stiff and nice now it's very good um, well the job's done i mean So that's 
the job done really really well i'm super happy and grateful to the fellow because he understood my demands exactly and uh, executed them without uh, a tiny bit of doubt or uh, i don't have to go back to him now to rework the whole thing exactly where i wanted the addition of a little more uh, uh, foam uh, and i mean it's a it's a job done and dusted so and just guess how much did i pay for the whole of it 120 indian rupees that would translate to 1.75 us dollars can you believe that can you believe labor comes this cheap in this country 120 rupees for him to add another layer of foam to shape it really well to put back the seat cover and uh, man i mean yeah so that's the whole of it i will uh, get back to you guys on another video i'm riding off to a place called elgri so i'll see you guys there and uh, yeah keep in touch ciao for now